hi everyone welcome to my channel welcome to angel love 333 today i'm going to do a reading for pisces this is going to be a weekly reading for january 12th through the 19th please remember it's a general reading so if you'd like something more specific my information's in the description box if you'd like to request a personal reading I also have in my description box um, a link to my playlist if you'd like to check out my monthly readings, my timeless readings, and then I also have um, the yearly predictions for 2020. Um, there's those readings in there as well. What else? And this will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. If you don't know your other signs besides your sun sign, there's a link in the description box um, with your natal chart um, where you can find your other signs, okay? Because if this reading doesn't resonate with you um, or you like to check out your other signs, um, feel free to do so, okay? What else here? Oh, the other thing that I wanted to bring up um, I'm doing a giveaway. I have two bracelets on. I have um, an amethyst bracelet with an angel wing and I have a howlite bracelet with an angel wing. Uh, this one has a um, lava bead for essential oils. So I'm giving um, two of these away or a one of each one at the end of the month. Um, if you subscribe, like, and comment, if you're a new subscriber, if you're not a new subscriber, if you just, um, like and comment and then you'll be entered to win one of these and i also do um, either reiki healing on them or if you want some type of energy intention you know um, attracting love or whatever it is in your life i um, do an energy uh, prayer on them as well so um, remember you know to like subscribe um, you can do that right now or wait till the end of the reading. I'll remind you as well. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to start with um, the deck called Notes from the Universe. And this is just a fun um, deck to see what messages the universe has for you. And I'm finding that in each of the readings, um, they're actually really relating to the energy of the reading. So I'm going to pull two cards for you, Pisces. What messages? do you have for Pisces universe please tell us thank you what messages do you have for Pisces let's get two messages please two messages all right two messages for Pisces what message do we have for Pisces two cards please two cards there's oh there's one it's funny because, wow, too. You know, we had um, both of these messages in the last um, five readings that I did. Okay, and I shuffled those pretty good. So, all right. So, the first message that you have is you were born with that it quality. Okay. Do you want to know what's really beautiful? Confidence. Do you want to know what's really powerful? Persistence. Do you want to know what's really sexy? Please, I know about sexy. Not needing to be needed, and if still, they don't notice your good looks, your strength, and your sachet, could you feel more sorry for them? Tally-ho, the universe. Okay, <laughs> very nice uh, message there. Pisces, you definitely have the it quality. Okay, the next, um, actually, no, this one didn't come out. It was a different, uh, so this is the first time this one has come out. So the, the message here is love is the reason. Each person in your life is there for a reason, and the reason always has something to do with love, like me, the universe. Okay, so beautiful message there. Okay, so remember that everyone in your life is there for a reason, and it's usually having to do with love. Okay, well, not all the time, but we'll see. All right, so we're going to pull now um, some messages from the Arcanum. 
I hope I'm pronouncing that right, tarot. Let's see what energy is there for you, Pisces. We're going to cut the cards really quick. All right, so also Pisces, I just did a weekend um, love reading. So if you have somebody in your life or somebody you want to return to your life, um, all the readings I did last night turned out very nicely. So you can check those out. All right, thank you angels and spirit guides for your guidance. What messages do you have for Pisces, January 12th through the 19th? What's the energy of the week for Pisces? Thank you for your messages, angels, spirit guides. Let's get this one. Let's get five more cards, please. Oops, sorry. I'm trying to put them in the order that they they came in. And we're gonna get one more card, Pisces. One more card for Pisces. There it is. Okay. Okay, Pisces, give me a moment. All right, we got three major arcana cards on the table. Okay, so first card out, we have the star card. So I feel here, Pisces, um, you know, you've been really um, working on your healing, um, really trying to balance out your emotions here. I feel here too that you've been very, very spiritual. Um, whatever your belief is, your higher power, um, you know, getting more in tune with the divine, because you also have here the high priestess energy. So I definitely feel here you're really doing some spiritual work on yourself. Your intuition is really, really heightened right now. And I definitely feel here you're trying to get a good balance on your emotions. Maybe you're doing a lot of um, healing, uh, meditation. Um, you may be even, I feel like you may even be doing some work that's very intuitive. Um, I feel here that um, you have definitely skills um, to be an intuitive healer or an intuitive teacher, um, something of that nature here, okay? So just know that, um, you know, if you're getting messages intuitively right now, I feel here, you know, it's probably really right on. You're really in tune right now. Um, so I see here, I feel here that um, with the three of swords, I feel here that you're still trying to heal through um, some type of past hurt from someone in your life. This could have been somebody who, um, you know, is a family member, somebody um, who is your love, someone you're in a relationship with, or someone that you are in a past relationship, maybe in separation. I feel here too, this could be your twin flame partner here. Um, but whatever the case, I feel here um, that this is definitely a situation um, that you're healing past this hurt. Okay, with the Three of Swords. I'm also feeling here that there may be a situation, a third party situation that was involved here. Um, remember, it does not have to be another lover. It could be another person, um, you know, a family member, you know, a friend. There could have been some type of third party situation that was influencing this connection with you and somebody else or whatever this hurt is. Um, you know, like I said, it does not have to be love, but there is something that hurts you um, very deeply here. And um, I feel like there could have been a, a third party situation for some of you. Okay, not all of you. And then we have here the seven of cups. So yeah, so whoever hurts you in this situation, I feel like um, you may have felt that you were disillusioned, um, that this person disillusioned you um, and making you believe that things were going to be a certain way and then they weren't, okay? Um, the other message is that this could be is that if, you know, there were things that you were desiring um, in this situation, there was something that you were hoping for, wishing for, 
um, really attached to it, but you know, it may not have been something that was in the grasp of reality here, okay? So something maybe that wasn't obtainable, okay? So if this is a desire uh, that you were hoping for, okay? Um, nonetheless, if it's not that, I feel this might be somebody who dis disillusioned you and made you believe that there were, you know, opportunities um, that actually weren't really there. Okay. Now the next card that we have is we have the world card. Okay. So I feel through your healing here, you're really trying to gain some balance. You can see this energy here is holding two wands, um, and trying to really gain some balance here. Okay. So a, um, with the world card here, a cycle, um, has, has basically come full circle. Um, I feel like the, you know the hurt is done and and you're dealing with it or you've healed from it. And I really feel like now you're coming to a place, like I said, I feel like you're working on your spirituality here with the high priestess and you're really coming into an energy and I, exactly what I'm feeling here, an energy of you know healing, balance and connection here is what I'm feeling, okay? I'm going to see what's at the bottom of the deck. Okay, yeah, we have the Six of Pentacles. So there may be somebody in your life who, um, you know, um, you were giving a lot to and it was unbalanced. Okay, so you may be, um, you may have been giving more than this person was giving. Okay, and um, you were really hoping for some even return on the situation. Let's see what else we have here. Yeah, I feel here too, this caused an ending here with the Ten of Swords. All right, definitely painful, this hurt you're going through. Then we have Four of Swords, so I feel like there was a time, um, you know, that you took to yourself, you know, meditation, healing here, really um, going over this. I feel like this, for a lot of you, with somebody you were very, very emotionally attached to here with the Lover's card, could, um, you know, also be a Gemini. All right. Okay, so, you know, on the board I'm seeing um, with the Star card, we have Aquarius energy here. Um, with the Three of Swords, we have Air energy, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. With the Four of Wands, we have Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we have your energy, Pisces, here. So we pretty much, the only energy we don't have here on the board is Earth Energy. So, um, but, you know, this these energies um, and elements can be in your chart, okay, or the other person's chart. So don't get too hung up on the signs. Just if they come out, then that's confirmation to you um, that it resonates, okay? So I'm gonna pull some Psychic Tarot Oracle cards. Let's see what comes out here. Thank you, angels and spirit guides, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Pisces? What messages do you have for Pisces, January 12th for the 19th? Give us some clarity regarding the situation here that we have on the board. And let's get one more card, please. There it is. Yeah, so the first card that came out is Stand Your Ground. So I feel here you really um, have stood your ground with this person um in this situation and i feel like standing your ground for you is more of you taking care of yourself okay moving forward taking care of yourself and not really um you know worrying too much about what this other person is because as we can see here with the six of pentacles um, they weren't you know they weren't putting in the time and energy that you were putting in here okay and then we have here transformation. So I feel here you have definitely gone through a transformation of healing. Um, and I feel here this has made you connect more um, with your intuitive self and the divine. So I feel here even though 
you may have had um, a lot of heartache and loss in this situation. I feel it has benefited you. I feel like it has benefited you and has made you a better person. You've learned through this experience. Um, and I feel like you're not going to let somebody do um, this to you again. Like I said, because you're standing your ground here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull now some romance angel cards and see what comes out. So, you know, you may not understand why this connection happened with this person. You know, whether it's love or it's not love, because you can be emotionally attached to family or friends. Um, you know, like I said, some of you, this could be a twin flame relationship. This is definitely um, in line with this message, love is the reason, okay? So there's always a reason someone came into your life. Maybe you had to learn lessons of love, okay? Or you needed to learn how to love, or this other person may have needed to learn how to love. So there's a, a lot of different aspects or perspectives of how you can look at this. Okay, so we're gonna get three more cards. Um, from Romance Angels. Thank you, Angels, for your guidance. Okay, so we have three cards here. Hmm. Okay, so the first card that came out, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens getting to know each other. I feel because this is with the High Priestess and the Star card, I don't feel this is with an actual person. I feel like this is about you getting to know yourself. I feel like you've grown so much through this process. Um, you know, unless you have somebody new in your life, you may be, you know, um, in conversation with someone that you're getting to know. But I feel like this message is really about you getting to know yourself. Okay. Now, the next. Um, card that came out is called very soon clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now okay so i feel here you know um i feel here you need to make a decision for your own happiness um, of what you want okay some of you may be in um, a relationship or a connection where you feel um, disillusioned or you know somebody promised the world to you but didn't come through or or they just weren't you know, giving or at the level that you needed them to be. So I feel here this is a message from your angels saying that you really need to make a decision here about your happiness, okay? Like I said, this does not have to be a love reading. This can, you know, be anyone that you have uh, any type of attachment to. Now, the next card that came out, time apart from your partner is on the horizon, separation. Some of you may be in separation from a love interest or whoever caused this heartache and and loss, okay? You may not be speaking with them right now, or there may be some type of um, separation. You know, this person um, could be distant from you, either geographically, or this person can be di distant, um, you know, mentally. And remember, roles can always be reversed here if I did not say that already. Okay, so I'm gonna pull now a few uh, angel answer cards and see what comes out. All right, thank you angels and spirit guides for your guidance. Let's get two more cards. What messages does Pisces need to know? Oh, you've got four messages, so let's see what comes out here. First card out is perfect timing. Something better, improving health, and success. Okay, so what I'm feeling here is I feel here that um, all of this is going to transform in perfect timing. It's going to depend to how you proceed in the situation. You know, you had to clearly decide um, what you want. Um, I feel here the angels are telling you there's something better than what you're dealing with right now or this person you're dealing with, okay? So I feel here, you know, this is an indication, you know, if you're on the fence, I feel like your angels are saying there's something better coming out for you, coming up. And then we have improving health, okay? Like I said, I feel like you're really working on, um, you know, connecting to the divine, 
working on healing, uh, working on, you know, getting to know yourself better. And, you know, if there is some health issue that you may seem as small, go get it checked out. Okay. You also may need, you may need to get some exercise or you may need to, to watch your diet. There may be something else too, um, with improving health, but I feel like this is you, um, working on your energy and just really, I feel here you're going through a transformation right now. And then the last card that came out is success. So I feel like your angels are saying that you're going to be successful, um, in this situation, you're going to feel good about it no matter what happens. Okay. Even though you've gone through a lot of pain, a lot of heartache here. Um, so I feel here you're doing the right thing right now, focusing on you. Okay. And what's going to make you feel good. All right. So I'm going to pull now. Um, we're going to end the reading with one last message and this is a new deck I'm using first time today called fairy blessing cards and um, this is a blessing from the fairies so I feel this week is all about you just focusing on you you know focusing on your healing focusing on your health um, really um, getting to know you and what's good for you okay all right, we're going to pull one card for Pisces, one card for Pisces. What message do we have for Pisces? Interesting. So we talked about you, you know, kind of um, working on you and, and your growth. And the, the message that came out for you is called a blessing of stillness. So let me get to the page here. Okay, so let's read this card for you. A blessing of stillness, the fairy gift of pause, calm, and an opportunity to be tranquil. It is the moment, the long moment before all of the other moments with their cares and responsibilities gather about you. Let the fairies give you the gift of time, their blessing of the long moment to gather about you and pause within while you cease, cease observing the rush and the hurry and the endless pressing things that must be done. Pause now and let them take you within, either within your own self, wow, right on point, to the place you have nurtured there the grove within, or the grove, or the sea, the lake, or the river, the tree, or the garden, the fireplace, or the rocking chair, and be still for a while, human child. And in this space, let calm return. Let peace quietly sit beside you and talk to you of how much there is to be glad for. Let an old friendship reignite, the one between you and your soul, and for these long moments between all the other moments, let yourself be taken into that world between the worlds and be still. And when you return, there will be great presence to you and you will be restored to your own center once again. So wow, beautiful message, very on point. I definitely feel this week is a week for you to really focus on you and your inner center is what it says. So beautiful message there, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you'd like to um, enter the giveaway, you know, please subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the week um, and weekend, I should say. And I'm sending you angel love.